Hi guys, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to my first Fursuit Friday vlog. So today's vlog is going to be 10 tips for interacting with fursuiters, because at almost every furry event, we do interact with fursuiters to some degree, whether we just want to take a picture with one, or if we just want to say hi to someone we really like on the internet. So sometimes we go to a furry meetup or a convention, and we see a fursuiter, and we get all excited, and then we kind of forget a few things along the way. So the purpose of this vlog is to make the experience as enjoyable as possible for both you and the fursuiters you interact with. Tip number one, it is really hard to get a fursuiter's attention. So if you haven't noticed, most fursuits are made of foam. And when you got foam pressed against your ears and you got mesh in front of your eyes, it's really hard to see and hear people. So you really gotta make sure that it's easy for a fursuiter to notice you, especially if you wanna go up and say hi to them or take a picture or something. Tip number two, don't scratch their fur. I mean, I, I, I enjoy getting pets as much as the next guy, but you gotta remember that this fur doesn't grow back. So if you're giving them a scratch on the muzzle or if you're, you know, bapping their ears, there's gonna be hair falling off of there. And it's kind of a bummer if the fursuit starts to go bald. It's not nearly as cute. Unless it was intentionally bald. I don't know, there are hairless cat fursuits out there too. Tip number three, be careful of food and drinks. This is actually something I didn't think about until making this vlog, but my girlfriend brought up a story about when someone went to go pet her fursuit and they ended up getting mustard on the muzzle. So it was kind of a bummer. She's a raccoon, so there was white on there and she had to clean yellow mustard out of it. It was gross. So if you're gonna go pet a fursuiter and you have food or drinks, just go set them down somewhere and then go interact with them and then pick up your food after. I'm pretty sure any sane person wouldn't try to steal half-eaten food, so take a bite out of it, set it down, and then go interact with somebody. Tip number four, keep your hands clean. When you're walking around a convention center all day, you touch a lot of stuff, and fursuits are no exception. So it's a nice courtesy to fursuiters if you're gonna interact with them to just wash up your hands or maybe keep some hand sanitizer on you. A little bit goes a long way. Tip number five, ask before you touch a fursuiter. It's really easy to get caught up in all the excitement of interacting with a cute fuzzy animal standing right in front of your face, but you gotta remember, everybody has a different level of comfort of where and how they're being touched, especially by strangers. One of the easiest ways to avoid this is just ask. If you wanna rub a fursuiter's belly, ask, hey, can I rub your belly? And if they say yes, great. If they say no, respect that boundary. Tip number six. Remember that fursuiters are just normal people. It's okay to be excited or nervous if you see a popular fursuiter at a convention or just someone you really like from the internet, but the easiest way to approach them is just do it casually. Just approach it like you're talking to a friend and most of the time it works out great. And that brings me to tip number seven. If a fursuiter doesn't feel like chatting or doesn't feel like doing pictures right now, that's okay. Most of the time, they're not trying to be rude. They just might be exhausted from fursuiting all day. I mean, this thing is literally like wearing a couch. So they might just be physically tired and not feel like interacting with anybody. So try not to take it personally. Most of the time, they might just need some rest. So come back later. Tip number eight. Watch out for tails! I'm talking about fursuiters that have tails that are so long that they actually drag on the floor while they're walking. If you see a fursuiter that might have a tail on the ground, just be careful where you step, because if you step on that tail on accident, it could actually tug on the fabric or elastic that attaches it to their booty. Doing this on accident could actually cause a lot of permanent damage to a really expensive part of the costume. So just watch where you step in. Number nine. I, I, I only have eight fingers. Number nine. Watch where you're putting your hands. Some female looking fursuits might have a male fursuiter under there, and vice versa. Some male looking fursuits might have a female fursuiter underneath there. So even if they say it's okay to pet them, just make sure you ask before you touch them in certain places. Communication is key. So this brings me to tip number 10. If a fursuiter says it's not okay to touch them, don't touch them. I know it can be kind of a bummer, especially if it's one of your favorite fursuiters, or maybe it's just this really cute character that you've seen on the internet. Everyone has their own set of boundaries and comfort levels, so make sure you respect those so everybody can have a good time. My favorite rule of thumb for interacting with fursuiters is to stop and think to myself, hmm, would this be okay to do to a person who isn't wearing an animal costume? If the answer is no, don't do it. So that's 10 tips for interacting with fursuiters. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit like or subscribe down below. You can also leave me some comments and tell me some of your favorite tips for interacting with fursuiters. I'm pretty sure you guys can think of stuff that I didn't cover in this list, and that'll be super helpful for anybody watching this that's still pretty new to interacting with fursuiters. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video. Pshh.